I mean, I, th I think of, I would say nine out of ten times my creative process is always sitting down with a sketch pad and saying, okay, what do I want to do with, with, with my subject? Beyond that point, after doing my sketches, I get to my actual photo scenario and sometimes everything changes. It's, it's a collaboration between you and your subject. In photography, we talk about technical aspects, we talk about lighting, we talk about lenses and what I'm, I'm doing to create these images. But if I don't have that interaction with my subject, it's, it's worthless. One of my favorite images that I captured is a firecracker, Eddie Griffin. And I say that because the guy, I mean, you sit down, he can't sit down for two seconds. I was trying to preconceive shots. I'm like, okay, let's pose them here. Let's do this crazy lighting here. Let's just, you know, put props back on. None of that worked. He's a comedian. And how else do you have a comedian but just laughing big? So when, when he's sitting down and he's actually there with his, 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 grandfa his grandfather, and he, he says something just hilarious that had us all in stitches, and he turns over and starts cracking up, and boom, 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 I shot a burst of three shots, and that was it. I could not have posed that shot. I mean, I could not have created that shot. It was an organic shot of him just telling me a story and just me just recording the images. Another favorite image of mine is of Evander Holyfield and Muhammad Ali. I mean, two, two, two of the biggest icons in, in boxing history. I, I'm actually uh, uh, Evander Holyfield's personal photographer, and he called me and said, hey, we need to shoot Muhammad Ali's 70th birthday. So I'm like, I'm, I'm all in. So when people started chanting Ali, Ali, his eyes just came alive. I mean, you really see so much information in this person's eyes. He put his hand aside just to wave at the audience. And when he's putting his hand up and you see the flash coming in, he's actually blocking the light flash coming in that I was throwing at him. And there's just a little bit of light just illuminating his eyes. And I think I couldn't have planned this in a million years. And, and it's once in a lifetime for me. So I could die now and that's my shot. Another photograph that I really like as well, that's one of my favorites, is of a Spanish actress. And when I saw her, the first thing that impacted me, and this is great because us as photographers, we look at people and we might think of something like, hey, this reminds me of such and such. And I said, listen, she has this aura or this air of Audrey Hepburn. And I said, why don't we just go ahead and make, make this a throwback of this famous shot of Audrey Hepburn. This is breakfast at Tiffany's all day long. We threw a, a teal background behind her just to kind of give it that Tiffany kind of hints at that tiff, breakfast at Tiffany. And again, it's, it's the expression. If I don't get that expression from my subject or my model, even though it's a fashion shot, it's, again, it's worthless. I mean, that, that, that dominates the portrait.